Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to test out this new drone simulator that we have been working on. So let's go ahead and try it out. The idea is that you can write uh, the Python code and it will reflect on the simulator. So, so basically it will work like a real drone. So let's go ahead and try it out. We will first write drone and we will declare a drone object. So that's our drone object the next thing we'll do is we will connect to it so we can simply write drone dot connect and this is very similar to the tello drone so it will behave in a similar manner and it has all the physics similar to that as well so once we connect the drone uh, what we can do is we can tell it to take off so drone dot take off and uh, then we can for example tell it to uh, move forward a little bit let's say 50 centimeters and then we will say drone dot land so let's go ahead and see if that will work and it flies it moves forward and then it goes down so let's put a hundred and let's run that again And there you go it goes forward and then it goes down so uh we can reset it from here and then it will go back to its original position now uh let's try to move to this position so what we can do is we can move forward let's say 200 and then we will see if it lands in the right spot So here in the map, we can see as well where our drone is moving. And a little bit forward, I would say 220 would be the right value. And once we move uh, to that location, we can rotate it. So we can write uh, drone.rotate and we will say minus 90. We want it to be anti-clockwise. And then we can move forward again, let's say um, 100, something like that. So we will reset it and we will run it. There you go, it's rotating, moving forward and perfect. <laughs> it landed uh, in the correct area. So that's great, we can reset that. So that's the basic idea of how you can basically learn drone programming. And this is a very basic example of how you can go to a target. Then there will be more complicated examples like image capture, keyboard control, uh, line following, obstacle courses, um, uh, uh, drone chasing a uh, thief car and other surveillance uh, examples like traffic control and so on. So there's a lot more to come. So let me know what do you guys think of this project? Uh, is it any good? Uh, is it promising? Because the future definitely is of the drones and we do definitely need to learn how to code them. So is this a relevant way? Is this a good way to learn this? So let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll see you in the next one.